What's up YouTube, this is Saman from Aesthetic Progression and in this video I am going to show you guys how I lost 5 pounds in 10 days. Now obviously before now obviously before moving uh, forward with this video what I would like you guys to tell you is some reality and some uh, fake practices that I did in this video. Uh, and what others do to actually show their transformations okay it's it's very common people know it but still they don't want, don't want to believe it which is the reason why I'm like spurring out right now so first the reality okay I did lose five pounds in ten days I did it on my own did it with my hard, uh, hard work there is no absolutely no trick no supplementation or anything that I took to do that. It's all natural. Anybody can do it. You can do it. Okay. Uh, some of the fake stuff I did, and I'll I'll tell you the reasons why as well. That's but however I'm telling you first. Uh, for some fake stuff. First of all, the icon on the YouTube it's fake. The reason why it's fake it, it has been manipulated through Photoshop. Photoshop. Um, I meant to say the uh, Final Cut Pro. Okay. That has been manipulated. I have put in uh, de definitions a little bit. Well, it's not like I did not have mu any muscles, and uh, neither I'm so good that I can add my own muscle to for uh, through the uh, movie makers. But um, they had they had an option of increasing definitions and playing around with lights and and whatnot. So so that's uh, before and after picture, but with modification. Now I am going to show you uh, the real changes that you would see in my body or you would see in your body as well if you had lost five pounds uh, first thing to uh, I'm, I want to tell you is five pounds are not lot of weight of, of uh, fat sorry a fat they are not a lot people would not go from you know this to this by losing five pounds uh, that's one thing that you know you, a lot of people mislead the audience by saying they lost five pounds and they went from this to this. Okay, it does not happen. Five pound is not that much of a, of weight. What does happen is you will be fitting onto the jeans that you were not before. You know, and, and and basic little stuff like that, but nothing really big and noticeable. Five pounds again of fat is not a lot because it's coming not just from the abdomen but from all parts of the body. You know, so it's it's not it's not much of a big deal. And you know, but however, I would put my before and after uh, posing, and I would put some um, some links of how you can achieve these as well. And now, why did I do it? Is because for people, these are for again for advanced uh, advanced or in intermediate that are trying to you know achieve a weight loss goal because of certain reasons. Like again, you know, if you have a wedding to attend in ten days, or if you have you know a camping in ten days, which I had. So I just uh, came back from uh, <clears throat> from a camping trip. So which is why I lost five pounds. And this is not something that you would do every day. Okay, do not do this every day. It's not the most healthiest. A way to live. It's not most optimum. People get, you know, really frustrated because they lose a lot of weight at the beginning, but then they crash down. That's one reason why people quit because people do too much, and this is too much that I'm about to show you. Uh, but for somebody that has been doing <coughs> workouts, I've been uh, working out for at least uh, you know a year or six months or a year. Uh, it's something somebody that can will be achieve will be able to achieve these results easily if they follow what I what I'm about to say also I put these fake uh, before and after pictures it's be is because um, to let you guys people know that you you know let a lot of people that ask me if I take that supplement am I going to look like this in 25 days there are so many supplements out there which shows before and after pictures and God knows if the pictures are even real or not so do not look at those pictures because I have already shown you a fake picture of myself Okay, losing five pounds just by changing lighting, just by uh, changing the the cameras and angles and using softwares and whatnot. And the main reason why I'm showing this uh, transformation, this uh, loss journey, is because um, to show people 
do not get frustrated, you know, you, you know, you, you buy that supplement saying lose 10 pounds a week or 5 pounds or, you know, look from this to that or whatever. And you take that supplement and you just don't get results. Why? Because companies uh, are lying at what kind of companies now you would say, you know, somebody that would profit, obviously, like uh, supplement companies, you know, they put before and after pics on almost every, uh, every product. And, you know, people that are trying to sell you the workout programs um, will probably use those kind of techniques. Because, you know, you'll be like, oh, this guy was like this. He followed this workout for 30 days or 40 days or whatever. And he looked like from this to this. You know, but you have to open up your mind and think if it's even real. 90% of the time, it's not real. Now, I can't, like, guarantee that and specify. But, hey, try it out the way it says exactly and see if you get the results or not. You would not. Uh, models and bodybuilders and um, everything like that, uh, athletes like that, work really hard. Do not depend on just one program, working out 20 minutes. And you know, They burst their ass off on the gym every day. They really are stickler on nutrition and everything. So, you know, one reason why I'm about to... Even even on the big in shows, even on the shows where you know you sh yeah they show like you know they lose so many hundred pounds of weight, and you know you do not know that if it's legal or not because there are debate. I don't want to sell the name of the shows just not to get sued, but you guys know what I'm talking about. People lose hundreds of pounds of weight, but then the big thing is a lot of people regain the weight back. Why is that? And there are several lawsuits, uh, you know. For, for the clients, for them to uh, making them forcefully use enhancement drugs like weight loss drugs that are not really safe for like everyday individual to take. That's why I'm I am um, making this video out. But again, I did lose five pounds. Okay, I just wanted to show how much difference does it make. I will put on in my posing before and after. It kind of looks identical. Um, but yeah, do not be expecting a lot more, but what you can expect is going to be you will be able to to fit on those old jeans. People will kind of tell you have lost a little weight and it's just like a fun experiment for me to do as well. What's up YouTube? This is Simon from Aesthetic Progression and today is... Thursday, August 22nd, and today is the day when I'm officially starting my 10-day transformation. I'll have the details later on, but I'm starting my way in for today. So, let me focus on the weigh scale and check out how much I weigh. That is going to be 168.2. Now I'm going to take the body fat with this uh, body fat electronic Omron fat loss miter. And I'll set this guy up in front of you guys and let's see I am one uh -oh. turn it on sorry I'm number one set at five five and three four normal set I just weigh hundred and sixty eight pounds um twenty three years old yeah, and start. Twelve point six 
six percent. What's up, guys? Today, um, the final day of the transformation, ten day transformation. Um, so as you can see, I'll put the date. Today is, as you can see, is September first. And I'm going to show you my way in. So one sixty three point six obviously did not lose um, as much as I wanted to but it's almost five pounds in ten days uh, still have a lot of water in my body so that's a big factor so at least lost five pounds now I'll be checking my body fat alright guys checking my body fat um, set this thing up so 163 and a half and start eleven point three percent alright guys this is the measurement of uh, my last ten days which is going to be um, the 22nd I have circled my body weight which was 168 my body fat is about was about 12.3 percent so I'm going to calculate that right now so so right now number one so Okay, so up. So five foot three and a half, about six hundred and sixty three point five. Set checking the body fat. Eleven point what the hell? Why is it going wrong? Guys, in this segment, I'm going to show you guys uh, what are the stuff that I did to go from um, from 168 to 163 pounds, about five pounds difference. So I'm going to say you put all those diet and exercise schedules. So again, if you guys can see, I have my white board over here. Give me that a little bit more professional look, I guess. But whatever. So my initial weight, as I was saying, it's 168.2. My final weight is about 163.5. Uh, so that's a difference of about 4.7 pounds. Okay. Uh, my body fat on day one was measured at 12.6 percent, and my um, on the day 10 was 11.3 percent so you can see like 1.3 percent 
of a change in body fat. So first thing just to begin it with was I was not at the very high body fat. So for you guys that have like you know 18, 19, 20 pounds, uh, I mean 20 percent of body weight, if you follow these protocols then you might lose some significant amount of, uh, of fat because I did not have that much fat to lose just to begin with. So I will not be losing you know 10, 15 pounds of fat. And remember I am talking about fat. Uh, I just did not lose any muscle, although I lost a little bit of muscle, but that's kind of expected when you lose fat, but you know, it's not just the weight, it's, just, it's the fat that I'm really focusing to lose. Um, so there are some basic measurements I want to do, bef I want to give you guys before I proceed. On uh, day 1 and day 10, my chest was about 42.8. On day 10, it's about 42.9, so 0.1 increase while I'm losing the body fat. Uh, biceps, uh, 16 inches on right and 15.9 inch on the on the left. On day 10, it's about 16.1 inch, and on the left, it's 16 inches. Uh, on my waist area or abdominals, it was 31 inches across, and on day 10, it's 30.8, so 30.2, so it's about point. 8 inch less so basically just the 0.8 inch of a uh, body f uh, a fat a layer of fat all uh, out of from my body quads was 25.5 on each side but on day 10 uh, my right was still 25.5 but my left decreased just a little bit of on 25.3 so as you can see on the most part I was um, gaining muscle except for the legs which uh, is another reason that, that I'm going to tell you uh, on my legs I did not gain anything uh, on my on my left actually I lost a little bit uh, on my right I didn't gain anything but however on the chest and my biceps I did gain just a little bit amount of muscle uh, while I was losing fat and obviously at the abdomen I lost almost an inch of fat okay so the diet uh, I follow, there are two basic principles of diet, uh, the basic ones that, uh, that that's a principle that one can follow, which is going to be, one is going to be uh, traditional, so er eating every three hours, so you know, equal portion of a carbohydrate, fat, and whatnot, and then there is an IIFIM, where you can eat whatever you want, uh, and whenever you want, um, that's as long as you meet the meet the macros, so I'll be making up a a new video on IFYM versus the uh, traditional eating in my next video. So make sure you guys subscribe. But for right now, uh, the technique I choose is going to be in a hybrid. So I took some from the traditional and some from IFYM. IFYM. Um, basically, whatever is convenient to me. I'm trying to take the good from both kind of techniques and apply it to my diet in a way that's convenient to me I'm not you know sticking every you know uh, three hours I have to eat um, I have to eat my protein shake or I have to eat chicken or whatever uh, and I'm not just going out and eating pizza just because it fits my calorie um, caloric intake uh, again I'm you know trying to take the decisions wisely and use common sense like you know what is the best thing I mean if is it the best for you if you go to the gym on an empty stomach is it best for you if you go to the gym and don't eat after that for hours and hours I you know what is the best thing I just picked on it and I just uh, you know I uh, used my common sense and you know ate it so what I, the first thing I did is uh, initially I ate just a little bit, just a little bit of a protein, maybe like a protein drink, like a 15-20 minutes or so before my AM uh, AM workout. After a workout, it's a basically I put my carbs mostly uh, post workout, just a little bit because I did the cardio. I don't need that much of a carbs. I put rest of my carbs uh, after my real weight training because that's when you really really get depleted. Um, I did eat some kind of uh, protein. Uh, on every workout, so whatever workout it is, AM, PM, or mid, which I'm going to show you guys in a little while, I did eat some form of uh, protein. What uh, what happens is it helps me focus during the workout just a little bit more, gives me uh, energy as well. Um, so that's that's basically just using common sense, you know, not being really strict about eating three hours or so, but you know, uh, also using my common sense. Uh, I do eat. 
um, considerably I'm not like eating junk but I'm not really sticking on the chicken breast fish and whatever I'm eating you know ice creams as well I'm eating yogurt you know I'm eating fruits so I'm picking raw raw uh, foods I mean whole foods uh, I'm picking some of the like you know um, we would say uh, feel good food like ice creams obviously but what I did is I stayed away from completely the chips and um, McDonald's and, and stuff like that so you know so some traditional some newer IAFIM style now before you do this routine I, I like to call this program an advanced program because you have to know some basic stuff. You have to know what are macros, you have to know what are, what macros are you taking, what are their ratios at, and everything. So, you know, before I even like, you know, wait, went on to this uh, weight loss journey, what I was doing is I was doing 2530 calories, so 2500, you can say 2500 calories a day. Uh, not just that, but I knew what exactly and how much of each macros I was taking. So I was about uh, 45, 35, and 20 percent, uh, 45 percent of carbohydrates, 35 percent on protein, and 20 percent of a total caloric intake from fat. My uh, carbohydrate intake was 285 grams, protein 212 grams, and my fat was 56 grams. So that that was the basic model I was using. Um, before, so that's my regular maintenance um, amount of food that I take on everyday basis. Sometimes, you know, on weekends uh, when I go out, I eat, do eat out sometimes once in a while, at least like once a week or so, uh, or if not a little bit less than that. But yeah, um, most of the time, this was my 90% of the time, this was what I was following on my maintenance days. So that was uh, 285 grams carbs. 212 protein and 56 grams fat. So if you guys do not know what our macros are, this is not what you follow. Okay, do not follow it because you do know you will not know where to cut it and how much. Uh, eating a little bit less rice does not count here. You have to be scientific if you want to get scientific data. You have to eat properly. You need to know your macros. Okay, if you do not know your macros, calculate everything for a couple of weeks first. Do not modify your diet. Do not do anything. Calculate. Get yourself a weight scale. It's like fifteen dollars, uh, and calculate how much protein, fats, and um, uh, carbs you are taking. So. So what, the day that I started again, I was about 2,500 calories. So the things I decreased is only carbohydrate. I kept my fat and protein same throughout the throughout the journey of 10 days. Throughout the, uh, so it's always 212 grams of protein and always 56 grams of fat. So on day one. Uh, day one to day three, I I decrease 100 grams of carbs. So I was taking only 185 grams of carbohydrates uh, compared to uh, compared to 285 grams from uh, and everything else is the same. Okay, so that that dropped it down to 35 percent on uh, carbs, 40 percent on protein, and 25 on the fat. Um, so it. So due to the decrease in carbohydrate, it looked overall it looked like my protein and fat percentage went went up. Okay, but uh, protein and fat um, amount is still the same that's going in the body. Um, from day four to day seven, I decreased my carbohydrates even 100 grams more. So I was only eating 85 grams of carbohydrates. Now that's when you really have to be careful on where you take the carbohydrates. I take it just a little bit like. Uh, um, I, I'm sorry, a little bit like a post-workout in the morning. So I'll go into the workout stuff again, but a little bit after my first workout, and then I like 25 grams or so. Like t I, would, I would have taken like an apple or, or something like that, 25 grams, and the rest 50 grams would be something like a white rice or so, a brown rice uh, after uh, my main weight workout, and then you go to then. Again, carbohydrates were 85 grams, protein was 212 again, and fats was 56. Now, percent doesn't really matter because I was only decreasing the carbohydrate. Now, from day 8 to day 10, uh, I had 1,590 calories, and I decreased my 
carbohydrates only from 85 grams to 50 grams. So now that's when it's really get difficult because you are always hungry for the last couple of days from like that last day 6 or 7 I was really getting hungry and tired. Uh, but I couldn't manage it because I knew it was not a really long term. And that's again, that's another tip that I'm going to give you uh, at the very end. But only 12.6% was coming from carbo energy, was coming from carbohydrates, 53.3 from fats, I mean protein, and 31.7 from uh, fat. So I know the math doesn't really sound right, right on it because it only uh, adds up to about uh, 98%. I don't know where the hell I lost uh, the other 2%. But that's basic model that I followed. So again, carbohydrates was only 50 grams. So that was just like about 200 grams of uh, white rice to me post-workout. Um, protein was 212 grams and fat was 56 grams. Okay, so base just dropping 100, cal 100 grams of fat here and there. And, and at the end, I, was just, I just dropped about 25 grams. Uh, dropped my calories right about thousand calories from day one to day ten, so that's a big jump. If you guys uh, are new to it, do not draw go that much of a jump. I know what the hell I'm doing with my body. Okay, so if you are really new, have never worked out, never tried any kind of diet, so this is not for you. Take it slow by slow. Um, I have made a video. This that was my initial one of the initial videos of how much uh, time does it take to lose fat. You can check it by clicking the link over here. Uh, posted that those are for the concept that the beginners should know. This is for intermediate and advanced. Somebody that has a year, at least a minimum of a year of uh, training knowledge, a year of nutritional knowledge behind their back. So again, that that's that's a big jump. And another tip that I wanted to say to you was. This kind of model is not for everyday basis. So obviously you can follow the models up to here. So day four to day seven is something like maybe I mean I'm sorry, day one to day three. So taking 185 to maybe even you know dropping it down to 100 ca uh, grams of carbohydrates might be reasonable. Really, uh, something that one can apply on everyday basis and you know lose steady and uh, lose the fat steadily and st steadily, but you know, low fat but steadily. So you know, lose half a pound or so, and that way you can do it for longer, get better results. You know, you want the main thing is you know, it's not about just losing five pounds. It's 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 about how long you can do these stuff, so that you can get get uh, overall health uh, and wellness. Uh, throughout your life, so it's, if you follow these kind of routine uh, and go on a crash diet like this, uh, chances are you will uh, you will you'll give up pretty soon because it was really difficult. So this is for somebody that knows what they're doing, somebody that you know has like to say you know if I you have a camping in about ten days, if you have to go to a friend's wedding in about ten days. You know, something that you could do for a day or two and then go back to a regular. So now I am again back to to this this chart. Uh, maybe I'll take a little bit less carbs today. It's only day 11th. So I did not really like binge in and eat outside. So, you know, I am still calculating. I'm not going 285. Maybe today I'll go on 200 or so and still increase that carbohydrate slowly. <laughs> but again, you know, this is for somebody that has to lose or has to set uh, lose a specific amount of fat in you know less time. Now, and as of the exercise, as I said, I knew what the hell I was doing. So I was hitting two hours of weight even before this uh, whole program I started, and I did not do any cardio at all. That's kind of a little bad. Other than you know warm up and cool down, I really did not spend time on cardio because I hate cardio. Um, so two hours of weight. That's basically usually. My workouts consist uh, somewhere around like I would say uh, 30 to 40 sets, somewhere around there. Um, so two hours that that was my basic. So it it wasn't like I was working out or, out at all. So whatever you see is not that much of a big jump to me when it comes to working out. Just a little bit. It was just a little bit harder. But for you guys that has not been working that much. Uh, I don't recommend you working that much at once, okay? So, this, as again, it's for a little bit advanced, intermediate, late intermediate to advanced kind of thing that I'm doing right now. Um, now, on the day one to three, well, uh, again, I changed my diet and exercise routines at the same time. So, at the AM, I did 20 minutes of cardio. 
that's a high intensity interval cardio if you guys do not know what is high intensity interval cardio you can do that by clicking the link over here again I have uh, described it on detail and also I have uh, gave you an sample exercise as well to follow but the one that I did is on only on the treadmill so I used to run as fast as possible for a minute and take a break complete rest for a one minute so that I did that for like 20 minutes okay and the PM workout I used to go five minutes all out so what I used to do is I have to go back to treadmill again do five minutes of warm that I like I always do but for five minutes I tried to burn a uh, hundred calories this is a technique that I learned from my mentor that I like to call him he never like you know came and say to me but I follow him a lot and his name is Finn Del Monte I, I had followed his um, Facebook fan page and you know it's something that he recommended to his followers of Live Large TV and I saw that I applied it a while back and I found this really effective uh, 5 minutes all out cardio so I used to burn 100 calories uh, in 5 minutes so it was it's a really intense thing okay if you guys have never done it do not try it as well you, you need to know your limit first you know and you have to be a little bit experienced to follow it I'm telling you again and again um, as after that 5 minutes of all out cardio I used to do my regular 2 hours of weight Again, repetitions, weight, nothing changed. I was actually getting stronger. Okay, I did increase. I did went one repetition down on my deadlift, but other than that, uh, my squat improved, uh, my presses improved, and everything else improved. Uh, <clears throat> and from day four to day seven, I did 20 minutes of regular high intensity cardio in the morning. And then after that, I did 10 minutes of light intensity. That's the regular, typical gym kind of cardio. On the PM, that was again all out cardio, so enough burning 100 calories in 5 minutes. And then 2 hours of weight. Again, nothing changed, routines, everything was the same. Um, and, and from day 8 to day 10, that was when it got really difficult. Because <clears throat> I used to do 20 minutes of high intensity cardio. Um, and then I did not do my low intensity 10 minutes. What I did was I moved it to the afternoon um, to 10 minutes of low intensity cardio. So whenever I used to come uh, home back from work, at my home and my work is really close, only half a mile, and I, we get an hour lunch. So what I used to do is I used to come to, at home, I used to, and I used to do 10 minutes on my airline bike. So that's still really low intensity. And on the PM, I did two hours of wait after right after work. I went directly to the gym and I went and did the weights. Now the reason why I split it down to three is just to really boost up my metabolism. Uh, you know, instead of working, you know, I would say like in what two hours and a half, uh, you can get more uh, boost in metabolism like that. Uh, you can get the more work done uh, and and whatnot. So that that's basically it. That's basically uh, the detail of. Uh, how I changed uh, or how I lost five pounds of fat five pounds of fat in uh, in ten days and if you guys liked my video found it helpful informational make sure you guys click the subscribe button all of you guys know what it is and I'll see you guys again next week